Nick, you obviously kind of started this whole thing off. Tell me what the process was of getting this whole thing together. Yeah, so obviously we started with the whole McDonald's thing, which Terry, yeah. you were a part of. Um, <laughs> and then that progressed into, uh, you know, we uh, initially it was I challenged Grant to do the McDonald's challenge next that night, like in the, you know, after hours with Nick or whatever, um, you know, saying, hey, Grant, Grant, you're going to do this next. And then I couldn't sleep that night after the McDonald's thing. I was in so much physical pain that I, I called, I don't know if I called Grant, I might have texted him the next day and I said, dude, like, you don't want to do this. Like, this was not enjoyable. Yeah, I raised a lot of money, but like physically it wasn't okay. And so we figured out together kind of how we could partner and be creative and mostly focus on local restaurants going forward. Um, so we did Sassy's obviously two weeks ago. And then, and then we thought, okay, it's going to take us a long time if we try and pick a rest one restaurant every other week to do. So we figured out a way to do all 10, 10 of our pretty much favorite restaurants. The restaurants you would recommend to a friend if they came in town uh, to go to. Um, and we did one dish from each of them and then figured out, uh, fortunately, Cheers was fortunate enough to allow us to use a big room in their building. Um, so Grant and I could, you know, do a dish, one dish from each restaurant and knock it out. So Grant, you got into this. Is it everything that you expected it to be? <laughs> uh, and more actually. Uh, yeah, no, it was, it's great. You know, um, when Nick kind of announced that he was going to do the McDonald's deal, I thought, oh, this would be awesome to go kind of head to head um, and bring, you know, as many people into it as we can. The initial thought just talking to Nick was like, well, we'll raise like 500 bucks, a thousand bucks, you know, we can just do a little bit with, with, with that. And um, when it gets to $14,000 or roughly $14,000, the first go around, I think you quickly realize that there's more to this, right? So we, had to come kind of get a strategy together on how do we want to help as many people as possible, as many restaurants as possible. Um, so that's where the, the wheels uh, started turning. And yeah, it's just been awesome to be a part of really. I mean, nearly $55,000 in six weeks back into the community, um, helping the people that, that help us on, on every weekend, every time you go out to eat. Um, and, you know, just getting to be a part of it. It's been really, really cool. Yeah, and Nick, I've seen some of the money that you guys have raised. To, you've been filming some videos of giving that money out to people and stuff. Where exactly is all of it going? Yeah, so we have. I was just, I was just trying to total it up. I've got this huge <laughs> Excel spreadsheet I've had to create to keep track of all this because it's a lot of money. It's a lot of donations. Um, basically, I think to to date we have done five thousand five hundred dollars to Leverett Lounge, which is a local restaurant providing meals to food service workers that have been laid off. Um, so they're providing meals free of charge to these people. So we want to make sure they keep doing that until everyone's able to go back to work. So $5,500 to date has been donated to them. Uh, we have done $5,000 to the Fayetteville Independent Restaurant Association Fund, which is providing basically money to individuals who are struggling to make ends meet right now. If you can't pay your bills, your car note, your rent, uh, they're handing out money to the food service workers, um, basically helping them make ends meet. Uh, then we've done... We bought $3,000 in gift cards from Sassy's to give out to those individuals. So we had 120 $25 gift cards that we gave to Leverett Lounge. So everyone that came in to pick up a meal last Saturday night got a $25 gift card to Sassy's as well. So they got another meal or two out of it as well. Um, then we've been doing, this has been the fun part, is random cash tips that Grant and I both gotten to partake in. I think to date we've done almost $8,000 in random tips. Um, so normally, normally what we'll do is we'll go into a restaurant, we order takeout, um, and say, Hey, this is great. Um, when it comes time to the tip, we'll say, okay, well, how many people are working tonight? And then we try and give everyone in the restaurant a hundred dollars tip that's working. So that's been really cool. You brighten people's day, you turn their day around and you're helping them make, I mean, pay bills and stuff because you think they're driven by tips, uh, with a lack of, uh, traffic, it's not happening. Uh, then last week we gave $3,000 to the Fayetteville Public Schools Outback Program, which is their food pantry uh, for Fayetteville Public Schools kids and their families. So that's so far. And then last night, in total, we raised another $21,000. Um, so 5000 of that came from Golick and Wingo with ESPN, who we got to interview with this week. Um, and that went directly to the Fayetteville Independent Restaurant Association Fund, um, and then another five thousand dollars in random, a random anonymous donor um, is giving to the Samaritan Center in Northwest Arkansas on our behalf. Uh, we can't say who that is. We don't know who that is. 
Um, and then outside of that, we have other money. We're going to keep giving the Levert Lounge uh, random tips. We're going to buy more gift cards from the local restaurants to help them out, to give out to the people that are struggling to pay the bills right now so they can get free meals. Uh, we're going to cater meals for all seven fire stations and the police station here in Fayetteville. Uh, so we're going to knock that out in the next few weeks. Um, and then we're going to give another $1,111 to the Fayetteville Public Schools Food Pantry. So got a lot of money we're giving out. Uh, but as Grant said, it's we, we are almost to 55000 total since this all started. Um, just three times people watching us eat food. That's incredible. Yeah, I think we're $400 away, guys. So if anyone's watching this and feels uh, <laughs> the need to be philanthropic, uh, don't hesitate to con continue to donate. You're not going to say us, uh, watch, watch us eat food necessarily, but um, you can feel good about it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that the people you guys have handed all this money out to are extremely grateful for it. Are there any, you know, experiences that have really stuck with you guys from, from meeting these people? I think for me, uh, the actual first time that I, after this lot, not the, the, after the Sassy's challenge, um, Nick gave me some money because it's all going through Nick's Venmo, right? So he gave me the, the cash tip money and I went to Giraldi's um, and didn't really know like how to do this, right? It's kind of awkward. Like, well, how many people are working? And you know, it's kind of these random questions. Um, and the girl's like, well, there's four of us. And I was like, okay, and I just, you know, open my wallet, pull out four $100 bills and, and hand it to her. And she's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you guys just take this. Okay. Like, everybody take a hundred dollars. Everyone that's working right now, take a hundred dollars just for yourselves. And, uh, the owner of Giraldi's came around. He was like, Hey, I just want to say thanks. Like, this is, this is awesome. Right. I mean, th this means so much to us that, uh, people like you and, and, and Nick and everybody are out doing this and, and, uh, taking care of the community. Um, because to Nick's point earlier, it's, um, you know, a lot of these people thrive on tips. They survive on tips. Um, so just, uh, trying to help do our part. Um, but that, that was a cool, like, aha moment, I guess, um, for me that, that it really is making an impact. Yeah, I think, I think for me, with the, I went to the drive through on our Segas on MLK, and, uh, you know, I got a $5 coffee, and there was two of them in there working brewing coffee, and uh, I gave each of them $100, and you could tell they were so genuinely appreciative of it. I mean, the guy almost started crying. He almost made, made me start crying. Um, and then start, you start talk, I started talking to him, telling him, you know, Hey, this isn't, this isn't necessarily my money. It's money that people have donated because of something Grant and I were doing. Um, and we just want to make sure you feel appreciated. And then you start talking to him and everything else we've been donating to the IRA fund, Leverett lounge. These are resources that those people have been using, um, to get meals, to get financial assistance. So it's all kind of coming. I mean, it's all connected. Um, you know, everything we've been doing is kind of helping everyone uh, that's been impacted by this, uh, at least within the food service, you know, bartenders, wait staff industry, um, for the most part. Well, it's crazy. I've got to say it's, it's gotten more and more outlandish a little bit as it's gone on. <laughs> you guys started with the McDonald's challenge, then you upgraded to a lot of Sassy's food. And then the other night you guys, you had a tux on riding a bike, right. Grant, you had the full cyclist uniform on. I, I just, I'm wondering, where do you go from here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, obviously with Sassy's, we had we had a little bit of, you know, alcohol involved. There's a little bit of interesting activities that were proposed that we went with, and we ended up raising, in the last 20 minutes of that Sassy's challenge, we raised about $10,000 yeah. um, to do the things that, you know, we took our shirts off and tried the koala challenge and sang the Arkansas fight song and drank some fireball whiskey. Um, but we wanted to change it up a little bit this time. Uh, we wanted to try and be a little bit more PG, I guess, more family friendly. Uh, so we didn't have any alcohol involved, uh, which actually helped eating more food when you're not having to drink alcohol, just drinking water. Um, and we tried until, you know, Grant was tempted with a large donation uh, of not showing any skin, you know, underneath the neck. Um, but yeah, so I don't, as far as where we go from here, we raised almost $55,000 total. With everything starting to open back up, we're we're optimistic one for our body's sakes that we can focus on health and fitness and start losing some weight. Um, you know, but I mean, if we have to do something in the future to help people out, we'll, we'll talk about it and see what we can do. But for the most part, we're, we're hopeful that we're done. Um, and that we can go back to focusing on ourselves and taking care of ourselves. Um, instead of focusing on, you know, 
taking care of everyone else. Yeah. Grant, would you be up for another challenge? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't want to say no, right? I mean, I think that's our uh, that's our thought. It's, it's not a complete no, um, but with the state starting to open back up and, and things kind of uh, going back to, to normal, right, quote unquote, um, you know, we, we really hope that the community goes back out and continues to do what they were doing prior to all this, right? And, and we can help each other that way. Um, but if, if things are still a bit rocky and, and there's not some, there's some uncertainty out there, um, I think we could be potentially persuaded back into another challenge at some point. But uh, yeah, we, we need to focus on um, maybe jogging a few miles every day and, and doing some kettlebell swings because um, <laughs> eating roughly 5,000 calories every other Friday night is not the best, uh, the best way to, to stay healthy. <laughs> Well, I've got to know, guys, do, do the mustaches help? Is, is there some power with those? <laughs> I don't think they hurt, Tara. I don't think they hurt. I, I can't say they help, but I don't think they hurt. <laughs> well, There's definitely a, a sense of confidence and masculinity that yeah. comes with them that otherwise might not be there. So. <laughs> well, what you guys have been doing is just absolutely incredible. So thank you for sacrificing your bodies to raise money <laughs> for all the local Arkansans here. Uh, just really appreciate what you guys are doing. So thanks for your time as well. Thank you, Tara. Yeah, thank you guys. And thanks to all the donors out there that, that pitched in. Much appreciated.